What's up and welcome back. I'm Steph Sabra, joined by Andrew Flash Gordon. What's up? And today we're going to be watching a fun video called Irish Slang and Phrases. Shouldn't you say it like Irish Slang and Phrases? I that was terrible. Such sorry, a sorry. bad... Terrible. Right. Terrible. I, that's what would have happened to me. I love me an Irish accent. Oh yeah, they're Cannot awesome. Cannot do one. They're awesome. Can't do one. They're awesome. Aww. I did yeah. learn slancha which is cheers. So we'll see if that's involved. I like that one. This is from Wolf Mama. Thank you, Wolf Mama, for letting us watch this video. Um, Go ahead and subscribe to her if you haven't already. And before we get into it, hit that subscribe button, bell icon, all notifications, and vote this up. And let's hear some Irish slang and phrases. Hi, welcome to my channel. I thought I'd go through some Irish slang with you guys. Some of these words and phrases might mean totally different things outside of Ireland but they're all pretty commonly used in Ireland today. And some of them might be more popular in certain areas, but um, they're all pretty well known. So let's get started. The first one is crack. And this means fun or gossip or good times. Mm. So if you said to someone, what's the crack? You're asking them, what's going on with you? Is there any gossip? But you could also use it about someone. So you could say, was he any crack? No, uh-huh. he was no crack. That means he was boring. Or, oh yeah, he was great crack. You had a lot of fun with him. A common phrase with this is any crack. And that means, you know, if your friends are out at a party and you're kind of thinking of going out, but you want to know, is it any good? Are you having fun? You'd say <clears throat> any crack. I was there with it the whole time. I actually like it. Is it crack? Like whatever. Any crack in America would be like, you're looking for uh, drugs. Yeah, I was literally just thinking that too but no i like the way this slang is uh used i would use it just like to mess around with some people here in the states uh like hey so is this person any crack oh you don't know irish slang exactly the next one is your man and that basically means your man that guy oh, and okay. it's usually used in the context when you don't know someone's name so um if there's a new person around you'd kind of ask someone who's your man who's that guy over there? Mm, who's your man? okay or um if you're trying to describe someone you know your man your man that comes in and he wears this you know that guy i know my sister really struggled with this when she moved to the united states a few years ago and she was saying your man and a lot of people were so confused they were like my man my man who's yeah. man but um, yeah, it basically just means your man means that guy. The next okay. one is story, and that basically means what's up. So you could say, what's the story with your man over there? Means what's going on with that guy okay. over that there. Okay, that makes sense. Or if you're greeting a friend, you'd say, what's the story? And that means anything going on, anything happening. Totally, we and use also that. people have shortened yeah. it to just story. And um, people would say, nah, no story. Or, ah, oh, yeah, I did this or whatever. So story basically means what's up. The next one is sound, and that means all right um, or cool. So if you're talking about someone um, and you say, oh, he's a sound guy, that means he's a cool guy. Okay, we have that. If you did something to someone, but they were sound about it, means they were cool about it. Like they were were all right about it. So um, sound. The next one is grand, and that means fine. So if you ask someone, how are you? And they say grand. That means they're fine, they're okay, good. Okay, that's... And you can say the weather is grand. That means How about it's fine, there's not raining. That woman is grand. It's, it's grand. Grand here would be like, it's lit. Like, that's it's awesome. I'm feeling grand. That means you're feeling good. Yeah, exactly. Like, good, good, not just fine. Yeah. Stop the lights. And it means don't be dramatic or I can't handle this. So stop the lights. If someone is over dramatizing a story. I like say, this. Stop the lights. You were not nearly killed. You grazed your elbow. Stop um, the lights. Or stop the lights. I never said that. Stop going on dramatizing something. And you can also use it as, um, I know the other day one of my friends used it as um, someone sent a baby photo to our group and she said, stop the lights. That is the cutest thing I've ever <clears> seen. <throat> so stop the lights can also mean this is too too much for me. I can't handle this. The next one yeah. is leave it out. And that just means stop. So um, like stop the lights would be kind of a more oh, stop the lights. Leave it out is a little bit more serious. Like um, if two people are fighting, you'd say leave it out. Stop fighting. Sort out your issues. Mm. Stop in a more strong or aggressive way. So um, yeah, you'd say leave it out if you're not happy with something here. Okay, leave it out. out. Three words for one word, I like it. And that means stop acting stupid. So (laughs) the phrase would be, would you ever cop on to yourself? And that means basically, would you ever stop acting stupid and start being yourself again? You could also say to someone, cop on. And that just means basically, what you said is just stupid, cop on. (laughs) Cop on to life is another one. And that basically means um, get your senses and start living 
your normal life because you're acting stupid. The next one is Egypt, and it means idiot. So you could say Egypt. Um, Egypt. That's my Egypt. favorite one. I Egypt love that. Real idiot. Or I'm sorry I said that. I was being an Egypt means. Um, I'm sorry that I was being an idiot. I love that we like that one the best. Yeah, Egypt. I mean, you're Egypt. not saying idiot, but it kind of almost sounds somewhat similar. You're an Egypt. Yeah. It's word for word, Egypt um, for idiot. And if someone said feckin' Egypt, it means real, like serious feck, idiot. Feck, um, feck so I'll move Egypt. on to feck. So feck is the PC word of the F word. Oh. So you, I, like, I would oh, use the- you know what's funny? I always thought like um, in the Banshees of Inner Sheeran when they're like feckin' feckin' like I thought that was just the Irish action, uh, accent saying the F word. Ah. But it's the PC version. It's like saying like frickin' here. But yeah. feckin' says, sounds a lot better. The F word in front of my parents but I'd use feck because feck is kind of That's funny. It's not really a swear word or if it is it'd be a very small like not important swear word and when you put feck in front of something it basically exaggerates the words that comes after it so if you say he was a feck in Egypt he wasn't just an idiot he He was a a serious idiot Uh you can say would you ever feck off and it's not as bad as f off like if you say f off to someone you're being aggressive but would you ever feck off is kind of more (laughs) lighthearted and and not as offensive as f off that's amazing like throw so um oh he was too drunk so we got fecked out of the club or um, the guards were coming, so she threw... The guards, sorry, guards are police. They're, they're the Irish police. That's police in Ireland is guards. The guards were coming, so she fecked the bag of cans over the wall. It means she threw the bag of oh. cans over the wall. So, um, feck can... Yeah, feck can mean those things. The next one is gargle, and that means drink. Like, an alcoholic okay. drink. So I think outside of Ireland, gargle would mean, you know, you gargle with mouthwash um, down your throat. But mm-hmm. um, in Ireland, it would usually mean drink. So if you're asking your friends if you want to go out for some drinks, you could just say a few gargles, and that basically means you want to go out for some I drinks. I like that. I wouldn't use that phrase. Um, it's not really that common where I am in Ireland, but my husband is from Dublin, and he'd use that all the time. Dublin. He'd just say to his friends a few like gargles. Dublin. Um, so it's very common, I guess, in Dublin. And okay. gargles can also mean drunk. So if you say, oh, he was gargled last night. <laughs> nah, that's fine. I like that. The next one is bleeding. And this also exaggerates um, the word that follows it. So it's kind of similar to feckin', except, as I said, there might be a little bit of a swear word with feckin', whereas bleeding is not a swear word at all. Bleeding is just very bleeding. So if you said someone was bleeding gargled, they weren't just drunk. They were bleeding gargled. They were drunk. hammered. Or if you're talking to bleeding. someone and you're serious and you want them to know you're serious, you could say, I'm bleeding serious, means I'm not just serious. I'm really so very serious. That was bloody serious. So yeah. Kind of, oh, yeah, the same thing. Bleeding bloody. The word that follows it. It's like very. The next word is... That makes sense because I actually did play baseball against someone who's... Uh, was Irish and their parents were Irish and the dad would always say hit the bloody ball he's being really serious but uh, we would always not make fun of it but just imitate him because we love how he said it and the accent and all that so we'd always say hit the bloody ball <laughs> Jesus and it means Jesus, Jesus. Jesus. yes so, um, Jesus. I love that you wouldn't use it as like if you're talking Jesus. about baby Jesus or God and Jesus that's always Jesus you never use Jesus <clears throat> for that it's more kind of like the slang when Jesus is used as a slang word yeah. in Ireland it's yeah. Jesus So, Jesus, I was gargled last night. Jesus. Jesus, are you serious? Did he say that? So, Jesus, just Jesus. (laughs) <laughs> okay, this is actually one I would take here. Jesus. Like, that's just like a funny way to say Jesus. What the feck are you going on about? <laughs> Fucking. Next up is dope, which means dopey or acting ah. stupid. So, dope. someone can either be a dope or act like a dope. So, you could say, he's a dope. Don't listen to him. Don't ever pay attention to what he says because he's just a dope. Or you could say, um, oh, she was acting like such a dope last night. So um, <sighs> dope is kind of an insult to someone. So you don't want to be called a dope because that means you're basically stupid. The next one is out of his head. And that usually means drunk or oh. drugged up in a bad way. So um, if you get so <clears throat> drunk that you're out of your head, that means that you're not acting like yourself and you've lost your sense. Oh, okay. So you could say, she's out of her head, don't listen to her because that's not her. Or um, you could say, you know, the next morning after a crazy night, you could say, oh, I was out of my head last night. How did we get home? Uh-huh. Next up is locked. And that means drunk. I'm realizing, oh. as I'm saying these, I'm realizing <laughs> of them are very related to alcohol. I was just thinking that. Drinking. Yeah. I think that's just the Irish nature. That's yeah, just, you guys um, love drinking. Our culture. A lot of, a lot of drink happens. <laughs> so uh, locked means drunk. The next one is acting the maggot and it means acting childish or messing around 
and not in a good way, in a bad way. So um, if someone is acting the maggot, you're annoying people. So <laughs> I'm going to say that or, one for oh, sure. The maggot. Or you could say to someone, stop acting the maggot. You're really annoying people here. Yeah. I'm so be really using that one. That's not cool. Acting the maggot. <laughs> Next you are one acting is the maggot. Play, stop it. And that means well done. So you'd say to someone, wow, you made that. Fair play. That's really good. Or yeah, I feel like we have team. that. We have that. Yeah. Fair play. Fair yeah, play. Hey, that was fair play. Yeah. Fair play means well done. The next one is gas. And that means hilarious. So if you said he's a gas man, that means he is a hilarious mm. man. And I think gas man means something different in other places. Yes, um, it you does. Know, the guy comes checks the gas boiler or whatever. And that's not how it's used in Ireland. A gas man is a funny man. In America, there's a few different slang for gas. That's gas. like, And that's kind of insinuating it's kind of a lie. Superfluous, like it's kind of fake. Or you could be like, you're gassing me up like you're complimenting me like you're giving me gas kind yeah. of yeah no I, I was thinking more the disgusting one. or gas like yeah. you just like are he's, farting yeah he's got bad gas but right. yeah yeah there's so many forms yeah and if you say about someone that he's bleeding gas that basically he's means bleeding he's bleeding hilarious guy you know the next one is jacks and it means toilet mm. so if someone says where's the jacks they're asking where's the toilet next up is thick and it means stupid so a common yeah, phrase is that. he's as thick as he's, a plank, yeah. and that means he's, he's thick really headed. stupid. Thick headed. Um, you can say here. to someone, "Are you thick?" It says no parking. Why are you leaving your car here? Hermione used thick a lot. Did she? Yeah, she was like, so thick. That's true. <laughs> That's true. So, um, do you want to come over to Gaff? Means do you want to come over to my house? Usually, if someone says free Gaff, that means party in mine. Um, oh, okay. Yeah, I want to go to a Gaff. Next gaff. up is Kip. And it can either mean nap or a dirty place. Oh. So if you said, I'm going for a kip, that means I'm going for a nap. If you said, his gaff is a kip, you're saying his house is a dirty place. Wow. So it can either mean one of those. It's like things. aloha, hello yeah. and goodbye. Next one is wrecked. And similar to kip, it can mean one of two things. So it can either mean tired or exhausted. Yeah. Yeah, or it can mean that. messed up. So you could say, I'm wrecked, I need a kip. Yeah. That means I'm exhausted, I need a nap. Or you could say his gaff was wrecked and that means his house was messed up. Mm. And a person can also be... Um, That's the like same You could here. say someone is wrecking your head and that means they are annoying you. Or you could call someone, I wreck the head. Don't invite that person out. He is a wreck the head. He always ruins the night. Yeah. So, wrecked. Like vibe killer, negative Nancy. Oh, yeah. like, there's different words, but wrecked in terms of like I'm wrecked. Like that could be like <laughs> I'm drunk or really tired. Oh yeah, I've I'm always, so wrecked from for the week. me. Whenever I've said to people, I worked all day. I am so wrecked. I've just yeah. always used it for I'm exhausted. Yeah, yeah, all those things wrecked. <laughs> the next one is slagging, and slagging. it is basically a form of good-natured abuse or oh, okay. someone or insulting well, we all them. Do that. Yeah, not in a nasty way, like in a fun way because you're friends. So basically, in Ireland, um, it's so funny. My friends and I were talking about this the other day, like. If someone starts slagging you, that means you've crossed into a real friendship. That's that. like your friend. Because you wouldn't slag someone that you're not friends with or you, that you don't know that well. Of because course. that would be just an insult. But it's usually only good natured if it's to your face. So slagging someone to their face is a good thing. Slagging someone behind their back is a bad thing. Okay, the next one yeah, is agreed. in bits. And it basically means not together. Mm. So um, if you're hungover, you'd say, my head is in bits. Uh, and that means my head's all over the place. It could also mean um, if you're talking about someone and you say, oh, they were in bits, that means they were really upset about oh, something, yeah. really emotional <clears throat> about something, usually crying. You also use it as a place, like, oh, my gaff is in bits today, means um, my, my house. house is all over the place today, I need to tidy it up. So um, in bits can mean those different things. Mm. The next one is sure look. And it's basically a way of responding without actually responding. <laughs> So um, I feel like in the past, maybe it started with Asher sure look and then some kind of phrase or proverb to make someone feel better. Um, but nowadays you just say sure look and hopefully it just means like the conversation is dropped. Nah. So if someone's going on about something and you're kind of finished hearing about it, you just say sure look and hopefully they get the message. That's it. That's the end of the conversation. <laughs> you know, it can mean it is what it is. Sure look. The next one is I will. Yeah. And that means I won't. Not ever. Uh -huh. So oh, everyone in Ireland knows. I don't know where this even came from, but everyone knows <clears> if <throat> someone says, I will, yeah, that means absolutely not. If you said to someone, you give me a lift to the airport in the morning, if they say, I will, yeah, 
that means no. You know, when you make me come what? I will ya means no. That can confuse a lot of people outside of Ireland. Totally. But, um, Irish people know I will ya means absolutely not. So now if I ever ask someone, will you give me a ride to the airport? Yeah, I will. Yeah. I'm like, all right, that was really confusing. So I don't actually I need know you if to you're going to take me there. Yes or, or no. no. <laughs> yes or no. Sure or no. No, not ever. No. I will ya. <laughs> the next one is giving out. And that basically means complaining or lecturing someone. So um, you could be giving out about how late the bus is. Your boss could give out to you for messing up a report. So um, giving out, yeah, means lecturing or complaining. And then the next one is eat the head off or ate the head off. And that's one step above giving out. So if someone ate the head off someone, it basically means they humiliated them, yelled at them, mm. screamed at them. So you don't want anyone to eat the head off you. That would be a very bad thing. I mean, that yeah. makes, that makes sense. Next one is donkey's ears. Rip my head off. And it means a long time. <laughs> So you could say, I haven't seen this person in donkey's ears, but it's only for the past 10 years. I love you could that. Say, um, I would love to just oh, have I don't that in a conversation. In donkey's ears. It's only for the past. The next one is I haven't class, seen you in donkey ears. And that means good. So, um, oh, that show was class, means um, that was a really good show. And I think this might come from classic, like, oh, that was a classic moment. Um, that's a class moment. Because it would make sense. I don't know if it does, but it would make sense if it did come from there because that's kind of like classic class I, they kind of mean the same thing the next one is up to 90 and that means really busy or chaotic if sense. you mm. said i've been up to 90 all day that means i haven't sat down i've been so okay. busy um, and it can also mean if you said the crack was 90 that means that was the best the crack one. good time was amazing it was up here so um you definitely want to go to a party where the crack is 90. you're watching dairy girls right yes we are currently watching dairy girls i was actually going to mention that before you did because when i saw the video was irish slang and phrases i freaking love that show so much have you seen it i've seen a few episodes and it was really good i just never oh please keep watching okay i okay. promise you it's worth like it gets better and better and better it just keeps getting better it's such a good show and it's only three seasons six six episodes for the first two uh, and i believe it's seven on the last one but it's really good the interactions are so good between the main stars yes i am watching that it's fun i almost want to do a rewatch after watching i know that's episode. what i was thinking but for me my favorite word not even close is egypt egypt yeah egypt yeah the idiot and I, I just like and Jesus and Jesus and Jesus. and Feck. Yeah, and I love, Feck. I love Feck. Totally, those are ones that I think and, would do well in and the my, states. Yeah, for sure. And my other one, I haven't seen you in donkey's years. Yeah, that's good. <laughs> like, what? That one's good. What? <laughs> really good. Oh, this um, is such an intriguing video. It was educational. It was fun. I really like uh, Wolf Mama. She's really cool. I'm just a sucker for a good Irish accent. I like them a lot. Obviously, I suck at doing them, but I like Irish accents a lot. Just getting to hear some different slangs, like really interesting. I love this. I just spent some time in Ireland. I love Ireland. I love Irish people. They were actually the nicest in all of the European countries uh -huh. I've seen. I've been to. They were the nicest, but... The question is, how much did you drink while you were in oh, Ireland? Lot. Okay. You, just, like, you have you to, just right? Have to. I'm not the biggest uh, alcoholic drinker, but I feel like if I ever go to Ireland, which is a, a, a bucket list thing for me, I feel like I even I would have to. Yeah, drink I'm a not bit. either, but you do, and their Guinness actually does taste different, and it's actually good there. Uh, that's a bucket list goal for me. Right. Uh, thank you all for watching this. Thank you, Wolf Mama, for letting thank us you. watch this. Before you go, make sure you hit that subscribe button, bell icon, all notifications, and vote this up. I'm Steph Sabra. This is Andrew Flash Gordon. Much love.